there, welcome back. Welcome to the Albar Market for the grand opening. This is your weekly update for Friday, June 26, 2020. So last week I told you I'd take you on a little tour, so we're gonna head on in, let you know uh, all the beautiful produce we got in. Uh, we will not have corn, we will not have cherries. The prices were just too high just yet on the market. So hopefully pretty soon, but I will show you everything we got in. Okay, heading into the south door. We have our hallway of some gift items, some pottery and a beautiful sunflower wall here. Okay, then heading in, we have our wind and willow, some salsas, salad dressings and barbecue sauce, jellies, jams, and quick mixes for apple crisp, cherry crisp. Heading on to our little naked bee display with that very cute bee bench. Heading down the line to our snacks, we have some popcorn, potato chips, and very cool air plants. And house plants are new this year for in the market. And last year you guys just loved our uh, dog. We had dog gift wear. We have a lot more of that this year. And we've added uh, the mud pie gift line. These make great gifts. And turning around from here, you get to see the whole market. They are the potatoes, the onions, and those Georgia-grown watermelon. As we keep going, we see the veggie department, peppers, cucumbers, green beans, and there are those honey rocks. Then we have some apples in stock, and we have a limited supply of these very fresh Ohio-grown strawberries. They are delicious. And right here, it hasn't come in yet, but this will be our area for the Troyer's baked goods. And we have more plants over here, cactus, and some additional gift lines. Here are the tomatoes. These are Ohio grown tomatoes, just got those in yesterday. Cherry tomatoes, garlic, and our new line of fresh herbs. These are in place of where the corn will be once the corn starts to come in. And heading over to the right here, we have our Fruits and stone fruits. Uh, these are the South Carolina peaches I posted on Facebook about the other day. They are absolutely delicious and very juicy. And then off to our cooler uh, with some fruits. Citrus, green onions, very delicious blueberries. And Emily Mueller's uh, elderberry syrup. We have that in stock too, as well as her honey. And this is a look at our new gallery wall. We have added a couple different posters of one of our most asked questions, how to pick a watermelon and how to pick the best cantaloupe. So there's some tips and tricks up there for you. And our middle poster is about pollinators. And this will segue into this week being National Pollinator Week. So 13 years ago, the US Senate dedicated this week as National Pollinator Week. this was to make the necessary step into encouraging people to talk about the pollinator issue and the decline of the, especially the bee population and other pollinators. So I will leave the link below to pollinator.org so you can read more about this special week. As you know, uh, things we do here at the nursery to help the pollinators, uh, number one, the use uh, or the non-use of insecticides in the greenhouse. We use those biocontrols, basically the good bugs to kill the bad bugs. And we, as it's been five or so years where we have discontinued the use of neonicotinoids. We also encourage uh, customers to also not use this product, especially when uh, flowers are not in bloom. And this week I want to talk a little bit about the question of all questions we received in the last two weeks, and that is what? are these spots on my maple tree. Uh, that is called tar spot. It is basically just a cosmetic issue. There's nothing you need to worry about. It's just aesthetic. I know it looks like the tree might be dying, but it's very common. My maple at home gets it every single year. I found this on one of our maple trees in the back. Uh, as you can see, the overall health of the tree will not decline. Uh, the best preventive measure of this for next year is to rake up and destroy all of these maple leaves that fall um, in fall time. 
So before I go today, I'm gonna head over to the garden center and show you some very nice things in bloom and some things that have been restocked. Okay, one of those items in bloom I wanted to talk about is this quick fire hydrangea. It is my number one favorite hydrangea. I actually just talked Tom Dayton into planting three over by the owl barn because I wanted to look at them. Um, you see it's blooming already. Mine at home has buds. It's budded and ready to bloom as well. These are a little forced to go uh, a little bit early, but one reason why I like this is number one, it will grow in sun. It can tolerate more of a drier soil. Uh, it blooms early and the pollinators just love this one. I can't necessarily say the pollinators go to any of the other ones, but they just love this one particular. If quick fire doesn't get you excited, we have plenty more. This is just part of it. And then they're in there in that greenhouse too. If you see all that blue and pink going on in there. We, it is definitely Hydrangea headquarters here at Dayton. One more item I was excited to show you is our new selection of creeping phlox. That first group sold out so fast. So uh, this was gonna be ready in July, but it's ready early. And you can see because we planned them a little bit later, they are kind of blooming. So usually they don't bloom this time of year, uh, but you'll get to see what color they are. We have a couple hundred of each variety to go around. Uh, they are on sale, um, just $4.99 each when you buy three or more. And one last thing that came in this week are the Arbs and Cedars. Uh, remember last week I showed you just an empty canvas, everything sold out. They are back in stock. We have the Emerald Green Arborvita and the Spring Grove Cedar. Okay, so that's it for this week. I uh, can't wait to see you guys this weekend. I will be in the All Bound Market on Saturday. Melanie and Maggie, or maybe just Melanie, will be in the market on Sunday to greet you. Uh, come on in, definitely get some peaches, get some of those honey rocks. Hopefully there will be some strawberries left, but by the rate they're going this morning already, I don't think there's gonna be any left. Okay, bye-bye.